Today we're at the Shangri-La Le Tussarac here in Mauritius. We've had an amazing three-day stay here. It has rained most of our stay, and yet somehow this is still an incredibly beautiful property. We can't wait to tell you everything you need to know before you book. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Max. I'm there. We're Voyager Group. We post weekly videos with travel tips, hotel reviews, and videos from some of our favorite destinations around the world. So if you don't already, consider subscribing. And of course, if you like this video and you find the content useful, be sure to give us a thumbs up. It really helps our videos get more exposure and produce more content just like this. All right, so let's jump into our first category, location. Location will rate five stars. The Shangri-La's property is absolutely stunning. This is one of the oldest properties ever built in Mauritius, and you can tell that they got a prime location. The hotel has gone through a number of renovations over the years, and now the hotel is operated by Shangri-La. You can certainly see that Shangri-La style that they've started to introduce across the property, but it still has the incredible bones of a really classic hotel. It was constructed in an incredibly pristine location. This property is also located in an ideal location for tours and exploring Mauritius. There's a great village next door where most of the tours actually run from to go to some of the nearby islands like Ile de and some of the other stops along Mauritius. Shangri-La also has one of the only private islands on Mauritius, and it's just a 10 minute boat ride from the hotel to go to a private island with a beach and restaurant. The island is actually split between Ilo Cerf, which is right next door. And so there's a great opportunity from the Shangri-La to be able to go on tours to see the waterfalls in that area and beautiful blue water that that island has. Of course, during our stay, we did not get too many opportunities to have sun, and it was some of the first rain that Mauritius has experienced in over two months. So there was a lot of runoff into the water. The water was not quite as pristine blue, and yet the second that that sun hit it, it got so, so beautiful. And even on the cloudy days, you can really tell as you look across the property, the different components and the way they've split the property across several beaches. It's just absolutely gorgeous, really no matter what weather you're our second category is lobby and check-in. Lobby and check-in, we rate five stars. The only words that came out of my mouth when we walked into the lobby were, wow. The lobby is absolutely beautiful and there's a gorgeous view of the beach and the water from the lobby when you first walk in. They've really done an amazing job with the renovation. There's beautiful, modern, flowing light fixtures, lots of live edge tables and furniture, and it's a really nice place to hang out. I think one of the most stunning things about the lobby and the property in general is just the classic architecture from the original hotel big, beautiful archways, tons of stone that's been incorporated, lava rock, real lava rock that's been incorporated across the property, and the vegetation and the maturity of all of these massive trees, incredible foliage, beautiful flowers throughout the property. It's so tropical and lush. And then all of that rock construction is contrasted by this beautiful light white paint that they've put across all of the buildings. It really, really pops. Our check-in experience was really excellent. We were greeted right away by a bellman with his umbrella as he helped us into the the lobby of the hotel. We did have a seated check-in with a beautiful welcome beverage, as well as some chocolates and macarons, which we really, really love. We did go on a property tour with some of the hotel management, but typically your butler will take you to your room and on a property tour to be able to show you around and then give you a guided tour of your room and the amenities within your room. Which brings us to our third category, rooms. Rooms were rate four stars. Overall, there are a lot of different room types to choose from at the Shangri-La, and all of them have a different style depending on the wing that you're in. There are three wings to the hotel. There's the coral wing, which they consider kind of their starter room category, hibiscus, which they try to focus more on families, as well as the frangipani wing, which is the club level wing, which is situated on its own little island as well. The room style across the different wings of the hotel is a little bit different. However, they are extremely cohesive. You're always going to have one or two beds, a nice sitting area, fully stocked mini bar, and a gorgeous bathroom. One of the greatest parts about this property is that every single room does have an ocean view. So either you have beach access being on the ground, floor or you have an ocean view from your balcony regardless of the room type that you book. That isn't super clear on their website so just know that when booking you do have a great view regardless of the room type that you are booking. They do also have a selection of suites as well. We were able to tour the Shangri-La suite so if you want to see that room tour check it out in the upper right hand corner or under our playlist for Mauritius. We were located in the Frangipani wing and we were incredibly lucky with a beautiful corner room. We were located on the second floor so when you enter the room you just see nothing but beautiful blue water and palm trees even on a 
cloudy day, we can see how absolutely stunning and blue the water is directly from when you first walk in the room. One of the best parts about this room is certainly the light and the different windows that they have throughout the room. There are palm trees that are directly outside your window, right up against the building. And so you just have this accentuated white sand, blue water, and a palm tree hanging right outside your window. It's absolutely gorgeous. There's kind of a sunken living space from the room entrance. So the bed is situated directly in front of the patio doors with a stunning view. Behind that on the upper side of the floor is the desk area. I did get some work done and I had a great view while doing it. There's a nice little seating area. The living room is actually a bit small, but you do have the patio outside to enjoy that fantastic view. The bathroom features his and her closets, as well as a his and hers vanity, a beautiful rain shower, and a separate toilet room. We also have a great bathtub in the middle of the bathroom as well, so you get a view from your bath. They really prioritize the view in all of these rooms. No matter what wing of the hotel that you're on, you have a beautiful white sand beach and crystal blue water. Plenty of seating areas out on the beach as well, lots of palapas, and then there are two pools, including a pool for the Frangipani side, and then another pool for the rest of the property. If you're considering booking a Frangipani club wing room, some of the amenities that are included in your stay are a golden hour, which is a free happy hour from five to six every day, where you can order most of the drinks off the menu at Republic, which is the beachfront restaurant. You do also receive complimentary breakfast at Republic. It is an a la carte restaurant as well. You do also get butler service, so you have a butler attending to you at all hours of the day. There's a morning butler, an evening butler, and an overnight concierge. The Frangipani wing also does have Lucky Tom products instead of generic products. The mini bar is included, so soft drinks, water, beer, and some of the snacks in the mini bar are complimentary, as well as the Aquapana water. So the Aquapana water in the room is complimentary, which is an upgrade from the generic company that they offer. Spirits and wine are chargeable. Overall, we really did love the rooms. There are a few things that they could definitely work on in terms of upgrading and maintenance in the rooms. For example, our patio door didn't quite close properly and some of the blinds needed a little bit of love and affection. One thing that we do love that they introduced in this room is a really good lighting system. Lights are located next to the bed, USB ports, and plug-in adapters that are universal across all the different plugs no matter where you're coming from. So it's really nice that they're making those type of updates in the room. Our fourth category, service. Service we rate four stars. We really wanted to rate service higher because a lot of the staff on property are so amazing and have been here for many, many years. Some of them even as long as the hotel has existed. And they're honestly some of the best service people on property. However, we did experience some minor shortfalls in particular related to housekeeping. The housekeeping in general was probably their weakest point here. There wasn't anything particularly bad about it, but there also wasn't anything that really was spectacular. And based on other Shangri-La stays that we've had around the world, overall, we felt like housekeeping did a great job of cleaning the room, but the service experience of housekeeping was not a five-star experience. When it comes to dining service, we had amazing experiences, particularly at Kushi Restaurant, which is the Japanese restaurant on property. Not only were the sushi chefs incredible, but the service staff there was absolutely exceptional. Saffron was another great service experience. They were attentive, they were efficient, and they recommended great dishes. One area that did fall short was breakfast at Republic was incredibly slow, and they did forget a number of items that we had requested. However, we hope that it was just due to the poor weather. In general, we did have terrible weather throughout our stay, so we are hoping that some of the less ideal service experiences that we had were because of that, or at least partially contributed by that bad weather. But overall, most of the people that we interacted with on property were fabulous, and our butler, Bumil, was one of the sweetest people. He was our day butler and the one we interacted with the most. One of the things on property that they were not as attentive about, which would have been great to see, was more beach chair service. There are a lot of beaches, but I think some of the main areas that are closer to the main bars do get a lot more service, but if you are at an extremity and you are in a room that is on one of the farther sides of the property, you're not really gonna get that same experience. And so I think we have stayed at a couple other hotels that have done this particularly well. So it would have been nice to see that introduced here as well. Our fifth category is dining. Dining, we rate four and a half stars. As we mentioned in service, we had some incredible dining experiences on property. Our absolute favorite restaurant, Kushi, is a must do when you come to Shangri-La. They have some incredible sushi chefs and the service there was exceptional. They do offer a number of restaurants on property in the different cuisines. They have the Indian Martian cuisine at Saffron, the Japanese restaurant, the Bazaar, which is their buffet slash a la carte restaurant that's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And they have the 
Republic Grill, which is available for the frangipani wing for breakfast as well. One of the great parts about breakfast is the bazaar has a fabulous buffet, but if you are on the frangipani side, you can also do a la carte dining at Republic. Although at the bazaar, they also had so many options that were not a la carte in the sense that you're ordering from your table, but prepared food across the buffet. And so there were a lot of cold items that were on the buffet, but there weren't a lot of things that would sit out too long and then wouldn't be very good. Most of those things were prepared on the spot at request. And so that was a really nice thing, how they kind of mixed that buffet experience so that you didn't really have the same amount of waste of food and also not that kind of poor experience of something that had been sitting out there for too long. They do also offer room service. And if you are on the Frangipani wing, you can order room service for breakfast included in the rate. There is just a supplement of 300 rupees, which is about six to eight dollars for the delivery of those items. They do also have that private island where there is a restaurant located there. They focus on seafood and fresh dishes, which is an amazing experience. Lastly, guests can also choose to do romantic experiences like breakfast on the beach, for instance, where you can order the same menu as Republic, but you're just in a private setting. Which was a really cool experience as well. And it was actually the first time during the entire trip the sun had really come out. So that made it really, really special as well. Overall, we had some great dining experiences. We highly recommend checking out a number of the restaurants on property. While you can go into town and go to some nearby restaurants, and that's really popular to do here, we highly recommend checking out Kushi in particular for dinner. The highlight for sure for me of all the things though, are the croissants on this oh. property. They are giant, they are flaky, they are buttery, and they're perfect in every in every way. That is true. Five stars for croissants, 10 stars <laughs> for croissants. Our sixth category is facilities. Facilities for eight, five stars. This resort has everything. We had the opportunity to try the spa and that was an amazing experience. The Spa Chi, they have a, a number of different Shangri-La resorts around the world and it is extremely consistent. And they do include a number of Mauritian type massages, which we were able to partake in one with a lot of coconut oil and a lot of relaxation. They even used hot coconuts instead of hot stones, which I thought was a really cool and local touch. And it completely took away my sunburn, yeah, which was amazing. Was weird. The spa is also connected to the gym next door and you do have access to a steam and sauna, which was great because we've stayed at a number of hotels here where the steam and sauna are part of the gym, but are not connected to the spa in any way. So it's great to be able to use those amenities. Their gym equipment is excellent quality. They have a lot of options available in the gym, including a boxing bag, which I love because I always love boxing when I'm home and it's so hard to be away from when we travel. There's also two pools on property. There's the main pool, which is is located in the lobby area with the bar Sega built on top of it, as well as the adults only pool on the Frangipani Island side, both of which have great beach fronts as well. And there is full beach and pool service. They also do have a number of activities across property, including water activities where they do include all non-motorized water activities, but they also include water skiing, which is a motorized sport, but they include water skiing, similar to most of the luxury high-end hotels in Mauritius, which is a really cool aspect of, I guess, Mauritius that I've never seen anywhere else. But yes, water skiing is included. You can go out, wakeboard, water ski. I love that. Unfortunately, because of the weather, we weren't able to do that. It just never really presented itself with the right weather. But you are in this area that is definitely something to check out. They do also have the private island in the boat that is complimentary, it goes over to the island and comes back every 20 minutes. So that's a great place to go for the day or if you want to have a lunch off the property and still be part of the Shangri-La experience. A lot of the tours pass by that island onto the neighboring island, Il Osir. So it is a really cool experience to get to have that option while you're on property. I think by far one of the best facilities about this property though is the fact that they've done such a good job with entertainment across the property. There are multiple live bands every night throughout the property, including on the Frangipani side at Republic, but also in the main bar outside of the lobby. There's also a Sega dance show that they did one of the nights that we saw, which was fantastic to introduce some local culture. And they went across through all of the different restaurants so that was pretty cool as well. So it didn't really matter where you were on property, you were still gonna get to experience that. But then the musicians that they brought in in the evenings at the bar, they were also timed correctly. So it was music after dinner, not during dinner, where you could hear it at a distance and then you missed it by the time you got there, but actually timed so that when you got out of dinner, you could sit there, enjoy a cocktail, and really listen to some, some really fabulous musicians. Uh, I mean, I was really, really impressed. Overall, the facilities here are excellent. They've done an amazing job with upkeep and offering guests so much on property. We've had an amazing time, even in the rain, exploring the board games, hanging out in the lobby, having drinks from the bar. It's just been a really, really amazing experience. And you really can do as much or as little as you want. 
And for those of you that are families, they do have an entire kids club with tons of activities in the kids club, indoor things like billiards and foosball tables. They also have electric bikes that you can rent to take across the property, tons of tennis courts. If you're really into tennis, they have an entire a section of I think four big tennis courts. It looked really nice. And then they had these turtles, tor tortoises, I guess. Are they technically tortoises? Yeah, they're technically so. tortoises. One of them is about 120 years old, Toto. One of the most beautiful creatures you've ever seen. Size of a small buffalo. Truly something left over from prehistoric times. What an amazing thing to find on this property. Our seventh and final category is style. Style, we rate four and a half stars. Overall, when Shangri-La took over the property, they've done an exceptional job modernizing and making it kind of in that Shangri-La vibe. There's a lot of beautiful colors and they've made maintain all of that architectural wonder that is the hotel. Overall, we think they've done a great job honoring that and having great themed restaurants. This year, Le Tussauds celebrates its 45th anniversary. It is in such incredible shape for a hotel of this age. It has beautiful architecture across the property. And the fact that they built it in such a way that all the rooms had ocean views while still maintaining a really low profile across the beach is just such great foresight from the original developers. And I think it's really been well-maintained throughout the years through various management groups and now by the Shangri-La. We're really excited about a lot of the changes that they are making and they have them to the room, again, to modernize them and really introduce a lot of beautiful colors and accents, delicate style across the property. And one of the best parts about the style is it really does feel cohesive throughout the property. No matter which space you're in, no matter which room you're in, you really have this kind of unified feeling. It doesn't feel like there's a lot of separation of, oh, well, this was designed by one person, this was designed by another person. And over the years, when you have have a property that's been around for this long, that does kind of tend to happen. But I think they've done such a great job of really meshing everything together. One of the only areas that we would have liked to see the style improve are on the balconies. It seems like the furniture was just kind of more of an afterthought on the balconies and wasn't as intentional. So we're hoping in future renovations and really unify the whole experience. They've also done a fabulous job with accent lighting throughout this property, both in the rooms, as well as the very subtle light that they have at night throughout the property. It's really nice and not overpowering and gives a real comfort of home as you walk throughout the property. It doesn't feel like a giant property. It doesn't feel like 180 plus rooms. It feels very small, very boutique-y, and yet it is so big, which is really one of the impressive things about the way this property is laid out. Overall, we rate this property 4.6 stars. We fell in love with this resort and we would absolutely love to come back. We cannot recommend it enough. Hopefully you enjoyed some of the footage in this video. Unfortunately, we really didn't get the best weather to provide you with the best shots that we could of the property, but we did our best. And as Marin said, we'd love to come back someday as this is truly a unique property. And there's so many things that because of the weather we didn't get to do. So many activities, so many beautiful areas to visit. We really only got to see a fraction of it. So hopefully we'll be doing that in not too long. And if you have done any of those activities, tell us what we missed out on in the comments. We love to hear from people who have gone back to a property like this year after year, what's changed, what it was like before. So if you're one of those people watching this video, maybe for nostalgic reasons, make sure to throw in some advice and comments below for others that might be anticipating booking this for the first time. So if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And of course, if you don't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications. We have videos coming out from here in Mauritius, as well as the greater area around the Indian Ocean, and of course, around the world. And if you follow us on Instagram, you will have already seen our entire stay play out in our stories and our feed. So if you don't already, please consider subscribing at Voyager Guru. And for more details on room types, be sure to check out some of the shorts that we've included on a playlist next to this video where you can see some of the more detailed room tours that we did, which are, of course, also available on our website at voyagerguru.com, where we have detailed written reviews for all the hotels that we stay at, as well as destination guides, which include important information about any destination and all the things you need to know before you go. And as always, I'm Marin. And I'm Max. And we're Voyager Guru. See you out there.